Oh, quick, 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 quick. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I got it, I got it, I got it. Hold on, hold on. Enfield Angel, I've done it. I've done it. I've got him. I've got him. Where are you? You're there. You're there. You're over there. Enfield Angel, quick. I've managed to get um, I've managed to get a, a zombie villager. I've managed to get him trapped in this, uh, in this little spare house here. Um, th that was a bit frantic, that. I, I wasn't prepared, but he was here. He was just right in the middle of the village. So I've, I've just managed to, to snare him into this building. I've made a hole in this building. <laughs> you got him to chase me through, but I've managed to get out the other side. Uh, get the door shut behind me and now I've just sort of covered it all up in dirt. Um, the only problem is, Enfield Angel, where, oh there you are, I see you. Uh, the only trouble is, Enfield Angel, I don't actually know, uh, how, how are we going to, how are we going to cure him? How do you cure zombie villagers? I can't remember now. We, we need this, we need this, because our, our village is empty, we have no villagers anymore. Um, but I can't actually remember... You need a potion, don't you? You need a potion and uh, an, oh, and a golden apple. And actually, the golden apple probably isn't a problem because I know we've got some apples. In fact, I might even yeah, look, I've got one on me. I don't have a golden apple on me, but uh, you need um you need a you need a potion. Is it a potion of weakness? I think, isn't it? Um, okay, so how do we? Oh, there's what? There's another zombie over there. Um, let me think. Yeah, so that's 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 the one you make with a fermented spider eye, isn't it? Um, where are you going off to, by the way? Um, yeah, see, the problem we've got is we can't... Well, Anfield Angel, now's not the time to be going off exploring. It's the middle of the night, and there are beasties everywhere. No matter how many torches we put down here, we seem to have endless amounts of beasties. But, I mean, the good news is we've got a zombie villager. Uh, but I'm not sure what we're going to do about that, if I'm absolutely honest, because um, we can't get to the nether. We can't get to the nether. We tried, didn't we? We tried last time. We made ourselves a nether portal, and it just took us back up to the top of that mountain. Where have you gone, Anfield Angel? It looked like you went off to the mountain. Have you gone off to that mountain? Yeah, be careful. I've just realised the witch's hut's over there. You be careful going in that direction, because there's a very, very good chance that there are witches over there, at least one, if not more than one. That is a witch's hut. So, yeah, you're just asking for trouble going in that direction. Where have you gone? Why have you gone running off into the middle of the night? We've got we've got enough to deal with inside our village here because uh, this is sort of really exciting but really frustrating because uh, what do we do? We've got we've got the zombie village but no way of curing it. Absolutely no way of curing it. This is a bit of a pain in the bum, if I'm honest. <laughs> it is a pain in the bum. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, okay, oh, okay, you look, you're back. Hello, where have you been? Where have you been running off to? Where have you been? It's really dangerous. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what have you got in your hand? What have you got in your hand? No way. Where have you just... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A splash potion of weakness. Seriously, where have you gone to get a splash potion of weakness from? Oh, you know what? I'm not going to ask too many questions. You've got one. That means we can cure this guy. Okay, right. Do me a favour, Anfield Angel. Um, don't go too far away, because I'm worried about him despawning. Uh, no, he's still in there. We're good, we're good, we're good. But, yeah, if you could stay reasonably close, because what the other thing is we need, we need a golden apple. And I've, we have been doing a lot of mining lately, but... I don't know if we've got that much gold. We've got quite a lot of iron, to be fair. Uh, and I've actually got an idea of something else we can do today. But I guess we need to focus on the task at hand. Uh, where am I looking? This is the one with... Uh, we've got, oh, okay, we've got 18 gold. Wow. So it's going to be like almost half of our gold gone to do this. But um, I guess I guess it's got to be done, hasn't it? We can't, we, can't, we can't repopulate this village without getting our first zombie villager. So I guess we've got to just go for it. Um, where do we wait? We go over here. There we go. Golden apple. Man, that's expensive. But that, that means we've got everything we need. So we, this is cool. Um, right, let's just go over there. Um, how am I going to do this? I guess if I... If I swap that out, let's get a bit of dirt in my hand. Um, oh, in fact, you've made me a little staircase. Perfect. Excuse me. Excuse me. Right, what I need to do is I need to open this door. Uh, there we go. Is that... Oh, he looks different. Oh, no, is it? Okay. I, for a minute, he looked like a normal zombie. It's just that part of his head's disappeared into the block above. Hello, mate. I'm going to cure you. Here we go. Ready? There you go. Some of that. And then... Whee! There we go. The golden apple is being eaten as we speak. And, uh, yeah, hopefully... Hopefully, we're going to get ourselves a new villager. This is so cool. Right, okay, now it's time to ask questions. Anfield Angel, seriously, where did you go running off to to just magic up a, a potion of weakness? Not a splash potion of weakness as well. It's not like you've been off to the nether. I know that because we can't get to the nether. When we go through the nether portal, we end up back on top of that mountain. That means you can't get... Um, we can't get nether wart. Uh, and... and uh, let me think. That's a fermented spider. Right? Okay, so he wouldn't have needed much more than... No, wait! You can't make a brewing stand! You can't even make a brewing stand! You need a blaze rod to be able to make a brewing stand. So how have you... <sighs> I can only assume you've got it out of your ender chest. Oh, careful! 
<laughs> You've just fallen inside our walls. Um, right, Andrew and Angel, could you come and babysit this guy for a little while? Because again, I don't want to. I don't want to move too far away because he'll despawn. If you wouldn't mind coming over and just sort of staying in range. Uh, and what we also want to do is, I, I think for the time being, we want to keep him trapped in here once he's cured. Uh, just uh, oh, don't let him out of here. Basically, don't uh, don't take this piece of dirt away. Um, as, as sad as that seems, I know he, he's going to want to escape, uh, but I don't want to. Um, I don't want to risk having any more accidents with villagers being killed until we've at least got one more. We need at least one more, uh, and we'll get another one cured, and then hopefully they'll start breeding and stuff. But uh, is he anywhere near? No, it doesn't look like he's, he's busy watching you jump around. Right, meantime, I'm just going to uh, just do a little catch-up here and uh, show you what I've been what I've been up to. So we've, uh, we've obviously been working on our walls. You can see we've built these nice wooden pillars here. We've used spruce wood on the outside here. Uh, and it's not an exactly even shape. It's a bit awkward, to be honest. Uh, the, the, the doorway was a bit of a trick. We had to change it a couple of times. But the doorway is in the middle just over there. Uh, and then it's roughly a square. Roughly a square, but not, not exactly a square. Uh, I can see... I see you. I see you, little creeperino hiding in the background there you, you, you can't cannot come in that's why we've built these walls you see we built ourselves a nice big castle walls and uh, we, we worked on this shape last time and we've decided basically what we're going to do is we're going to have pillars going up in each corner uh, these are going to be quite tall we're going to go a little bit higher than this we're going to put a floor on top of these pillars and then go all the way across with it uh, so it's going to be quite big overall uh, I still got a few more pillars to put in on the far side and I need still need to do some pillars on the outside but I think overall the shape is starting to come together Together now, it's starting to look nice. It's starting to look. Um, it was a bit plain before, wasn't it? It was just sort of all cobblestone with a couple of bricks. But now it's starting to shape up. Now that we've got the um, the, the the pillars in place and stuff, and uh, yeah, the entrance way. I'll just show you the entrance way. This is where Anfield Angel went running off just now. Uh, yeah, this is just through this like like a bridge. Uh, and I, I might. Oh, there's a slime bouncing around out there. Hello. Uh, what I might do at some point is maybe do some sort of redstone thing where maybe this this retracts. Uh, you know, maybe we could have like a lava pit underneath it or something like that. So uh, at night, when uh, maybe we'll, oh, we could hook it up to a daylight sensor, that would be cool, wouldn't it? So when night time arrives, uh, that that maybe some pistons could pull away the bridge and just leave like a lava pit, and that should eventually then protect us. Uh, from anything that decides to spawn. We've started to, uh, to sort of do some terraforming around here. We've leveled out most of the ground. Not all of it, but most of the ground has been leveled out. We've still got a bit of a hole over here, and we've obviously still got our trees growing over here. Uh, the big thing that we've had to accommodate is this mountain. So we've dug this right out this mountain, not 100%, uh, but we've dug a big portion of this mountain out. There we go, there's a block I can climb up there. Um, so let me just come up here. Uh, so this is all even all the way around there. It's all one size. Uh, but yeah, this this last corner is a little bit of a pain. Um, you're right, Anfield Angel, is he still, has he, has he changed yet? I'm up here. Has he changed yet? No. Okay, right. I'll carry on. Uh, yeah. So this is uh, this is sort of the last corner, and we do want to have another one of these towers like we designed before, uh, but we want it going right up to there um, and sort of built into the side of the mountain. So that's one of the things I want to work on today. I also want to try and get a floor laid down here. Well, I might leave that to Anfield Angel. Actually, I might get her to do that. I've got a bunch of uh, dark oak planks that we've been and farmed, uh, and some more dark oak wood. So I might might get Anfield Angel to do that for me to do the floor, and then I think we'll have a look at doing this tower. Uh, and I don't know exactly what the design's going to be. I don't know if we're going to go to a point or whether we're going to keep it open, whether we'll have like ramparts around the top. I, I, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it that much. I just sort of, it's the same with this thing, really. I sort of keep building it and then demolishing it and then rebuilding it and then demolishing it again. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep going until we find a design that we're happy with. He still hasn't, he still hasn't cured himself, has he? Come on, mate. Oh, there we go. How was that for time? Did you see that? I'll wave my bit of steak at him. And here we go. We have our new villager, our first villager. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. What's your name? Uh, you are Weaponsmith. Hello, Weaponsmith. Oh, Weaponsmith could be quite handy, actually. Uh, we could get some um, We could get some decent diamond tools off of him. Uh, having said that, I don't think we've... Have we come across any emeralds yet? I don't know that we have, actually. No, I don't think so. I don't think so, no. Uh, so, actually, you might not be as useful as all that, but uh, what what are your other traits? Oh, just slammed the door in his face. <laughs> uh, if we get if we give him coal, he will give us emeralds. So I guess we could maybe do a trade or two with him, see what we can come up with. Right, anyway, sorry, mate, you are going to have to stay in there because, uh, yeah, I, I, well, I, I can't be trusted, apparently, to look after villagers. There's a, every chance that we're going to get infiltrated. Once we've got this place completely full up, I'm picking up your seeds here, by the way. Uh, once we've got this place completely lit up and We've got a few spare villagers around, and maybe even an iron golem. Then, uh, then we'll uh, obviously open up the village a little bit more, so that you can uh, you can roam around. You've got nice new buildings to explore. Uh, we've extended this as well. This was just a standard villager house, but this is now our home, and it's obviously bigger. Uh, but yeah, anyway, right, Anfield Angel. 
Let's get on with some work. We've got ourselves a new villager, but we uh, we still haven't finished our village. So uh, can I give you these oak planks? Uh, pretty boring job, this one, I'm afraid. But, uh, but uh, yeah, I think it's, it needs doing. We need to get it done. Uh, just basically lay those all the way around uh, in between our walls, our two layers. There's some extra dark oak logs as well, just in case you run out. And I think dark oak's the way to go. Do you think, Anfield Angel? I think it'll look nice. Yeah, I like dark oak. I do like dark oak. And it turns out down the side of one of these mountains, we've got a bunch of spruce up on that hill there. And then I can't remember which mountain it is. Down the side of one of the mountains, we've got um, some dark oaks growing. So we've actually managed to get ourselves a, a good selection of wood. We have got birch as well. We've got oak. Uh, we don't have any jungle wood yet. And we don't have any acacia wood yet. But apart from that, apart from that, we're doing well. Uh, right, so it looks like Anfield Angel is going to have to fill in some of these walls as well but I guess that's okay we can do that afterwards that's going to be cobble all the way along there so I need to basically look at what we're going to do above these bricks so these bricks mark out pretty much perfectly how the tower is going to be shaped and that marks out the top of the tower except does that line up right I think I might have done this wrong Anfield Angel I think I might have done this wrong or have I done hmm yeah, I think I might have done. I think that ring's not quite in the right position. Uh, let me just have a look at this. So if it goes across, it would be one, two, three would be here. Let's just have a look up. Yeah, I think I'm one block too far over. I think that whole ring needs to come out one. Okay, but that's not, not a big deal. It's not a big deal. That was really only there as a marker just to give us an idea of how high we wanted to go um, with the towers. And like I say, I think I think all of the walls are going to come up a bit. Um, but uh, yeah, mostly it'll be the towers that are nice and tall. We'll have maybe spiral staircases going up them and that kind of thing. And it'll just be a way of sort of uh, keeping a lookout uh, around our new village. And, and uh, maybe we could even get some villagers to go up there. That would be pretty cool if we could get them to wander up there and live up up there and stuff that would be cool uh, right so this marks out um, where does this mark out yes this is well out this is well out Anfield Angel I've got this completely wrong I think oh no 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 hold on if that's there that's there so that's this is where you'd have the two let me just mark it out down here I've got some cobblestone with me so if I go uh, like this we need to continue the pattern round uh, do I have a dirt block on me or two I do I have an entire stack uh, so what we need to do is go around like this uh, that's with that we come out two and then we go one two three uh, like this oops one and two and three and then we go back in again like that so then it goes one two one two one two three one two and then two yeah so that works that works down here but what should happen is when I stand on this block here I should be standing directly under the similar position yeah see I'm one block over that block just there should be directly above me there so it's, we're not far out we're just one block out that's not too bad at all actually um, so yeah we'll, we'll, we'll fix that as we go we'll fix that as we go it's not a big deal uh, we'll come across here and then I guess what I need to do is grab myself, I guess I'll just use stone bricks for now, but again, I think if I do it all in stone bricks, it will look a bit boring. So I don't want it to be all stone bricks, but for the time being, that's what we'll use. Oops, that's wrong. Let's just grab that back. There we go. And stick it in that spot just there. Okay, right. So that's our, our basic outline sorted down here. Uh, and then we need to build vertically from here on top of this all the way to the top of the mountain there. So let me go and grab some stone bricks. That floor looks really nice. It's definitely the right choice of wood, I think. Uh, right, I've got some normal stone, but I need some stone bricks. Uh, I need more stone bricks than that. One stack isn't going to be enough. So let's go and see how much we've got. We might have to quickly go down to the mine shaft and see if we've got any supplies down there. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, oh no, we've got quite a lot left. Okay, we've got a few stone bricks already made. And uh, let's just grab a bunch of these. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's probably too much now. If I'm honest, I've probably gone all the way the other way now and gone too much. But that's fine. That's fine. We'll get ourselves uh, piled up here and just start to see how this thing shapes up. Because the other thing is, as well, once the towers are up, it will look cool. Uh, but then, how do I sort of transition from the tower back to these walls? I, I don't know. I haven't really thought that through fully yet. Um, but we'll work that out as we go, hopefully. Uh, so let's go over here and let's just mark out the next layer. So we go like this around here. And again, we're just marking out that sort of that outline. Uh, we won't worry too much about the mountain. I'm not going to dig that away. Although I guess I'll need to at some point because from the inside, I want this to look perfectly normal. I just want it from the outside to look like it's sort of uh, grown out of the mountain, if that makes any sense. Oh, I like that, Anfield Angel. All that kind of reminds me of Trophy Town, actually. Do you remember that, where we used to have the paths with the uh, with the stripe down the middle? Um, I wonder, how many different wood types do we have? Do we maybe have, if that's, uh, say, oak, do we maybe have, like, an oak wing, and then we'll have a, a birch wing? So you could do the same here, but with a birch stripe. Um, the only problem is, we've just said we've only got four of the wood types so far, I believe, because we don't have any jungle yet, and we don't have any acacia yet. We have dark oak, oak... 
Uh, what have you got? What are, you, what are you waving at me? What are you waving at me now? Oh, did you just fire an arrow out there? If that comes down and lands on my head, I will not be happy. What, what have you got? Have you got one of the missing wood types? No? Oh, you have? What have you got? Have you got something else? What have you got? Have you got acacia? No? Jungle. You got jungle wood. Ah, wow, where have you found that from? I've not seen jungle. Let me have a little look here. I've not seen any I've not seen any jungles around here. No, I can see a swamp over in that direction there. Uh, is that no that's not jungle either. That's just a swamp. That's just a, a normal tree but on, on top of a mountain. It looks tall like a jungle. I can't see any jungles. I, th I get the feeling Anfield Angel's sneaking off somewhere and getting things. Uh, she's going off without me. She keeps, keeps turning up with the things. Although, having said that, she's got that ender chest with all the stuff in it. Every time I ask her for something, she seems to have it in her ender chest. So it's uh, sort of this bottomless uh, bottomless pit of a, a chest that she's got where she just, yeah, everything I need, she seems to just pull out of the ender chest. Um, although, having said that, she didn't go to the ender chest. The ender chest is in our house. I don't know where she went just now. I am slightly worried that she's been off near that witch's hut. I really, I don't, I don't want the witch's attention. I really don't. I'd be perfectly happy if we never see a witch around here. Um, but you have to wonder. You do have to wonder if, if it's a coincidence that we have a witch nearby and all these weird things have been happening with the portals and and everything else. You have to wonder if uh, if it's just a coincidence. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is because I've never had witches do anything like that before in Minecraft. That's that's not normally how they work. But then nothing's been normal for us lately, so I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. We've yeah we've been traveling around different worlds and, and all sorts of different things uh, through these portals and nothing's been working the way it normally works. But um, yeah, well we we're getting back to normal now. I mean, we're obviously missing our hollow mountain. We're, well, I was going to say we're a long way from home. I've no idea where home is. We've lost home. We've lost the hollow mountain. But I'm quite happy now, actually, that our new world, look at that. Look, that's, that's starting to look really nice. It's starting to look really nice, all glowing, and we've got light in most places now. I am slightly scared about what I'm doing here, to be fair, because there's not much light up here, and I don't think I brought any torches with me. Anfield Angel, if you've got, um, if you can, if you can lay your hands on some torches and maybe a ladder or something uh, to sort of be able to come up and, and pass them to me and just get this area lit up because I'm slightly worried that stuff could be spawning above me on the mountain um, and uh, see this is the trouble actually I've just thought of that uh, if we if we building up in this direction and up here it isn't lit up uh, if up here is just a normal natural mountain there's a, there's a good chance that stuff is going to spawn up there and then just walk into our into our new tower uh, I can't see anything so far but you know I don't want to take anything for granted uh, but I think this will look good though I mean even like I said it's going to look a bit boring I think all in stone bricks uh, we will, we will, uh, we will swap those out at some point. Uh, even if it's just a matter of putting some windows in, uh, maybe we'll use iron bars. Uh, rather than windows, uh, that might look quite nice. Or uh, you can use pillars as well. Not pillars. Um, cobblestone fences. Cobblestone fences, I think, can look quite nice in that sort of setup. Uh, we can go across here now, I think, because yeah, we're starting to cut further into the mountain. So what I want to do is I want to maintain the shape that we've designed here. Uh, but as we get further up, uh, we start to cut it into the mountain like that. So. Yeah, it starts to look more and more like it's grown out the side of the mountain sort of thing. Or maybe the mountain has grown around it. I don't know, actually. I don't know which way around that would be. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the basic idea. So one, two, three. So we should have gone down into this corner here. So stack up on this, like so. And um, we also need to come up. Uh, no, we don't. Not there, not there. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, but we do need to come up just here. So we come up into this spot here. Uh, and yep, that's, as it happens, I did that by mistake, but it's a happy coincidence because we're now going in that direction and around we go, making this circle. Here's Anfield Angel. Have you got any torches you can get to me somehow? I don't know how you'll get up here. Uh, maybe you could just climb up the side of the mountain, actually. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I am, like I said, I'm getting increasingly worried while I'm up here. It is very, very dark. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm getting increasingly worried that stuff is going to start spawning around me soon. And uh, yeah, I really don't want to get blown up at this point. I can't see anything. It looks it looks okay at the moment. There's Anfield Angel. Hello. Um, right, so we're going up again here. Do we need to change? No, I don't think we need to change just yet. Sorry, I'm still going. If you could just maybe light up the, the mountain a little bit. There we go. That's looking good. Um, oh, I can hear things. I can hear things. Did I hear... Was it a spider I heard? <gasps> up there, up there. There is... Uh, it, that's not what I heard, but I'm glad I looked. There is a creeper up there. No, 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 no. He's coming down. Oof. Oh, see this? This is something we need to be concerned about, Anfield Angel. I'm not quite sure how we're going to cope with this. Oh, could you do me a favour, actually? Now you're up here, could you get rid of that cobblestone ring? Because it's definitely in the wrong place. I'm definitely, uh, I've definitely got that wrong. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay, because we'll correct it now as we reach it, as we approach it now. Uh, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. You can see how I'm sort of incorporating the shape of our circle. So as we go around here, we need to go up another layer. 
Uh, there we go. So that's going to be the start of the, the long side of the circle. Uh, oh, I've run out of stone bricks. No, I haven't. I've got a couple more stacks to go. That's fine. Uh, so around we go once more. We're going two by two. And it's a bit lighter up here now, so I don't feel quite so scared. Uh, so yeah, if you can keep those torches coming, Andrew Angel, that'd be good to keep the light going. Um, but those part, I like what you've done with those tunnels there, by the way. I think that's, that I think that looks really good now. Um, so yeah, that's definitely going to work. Let's stack this one up. Um, and yeah, I think our, our, our new castle, our new home, is starting to come together really well. I really like the way it's shaping up. Uh, let's get around this side, this side, and oh! I've hit the cobblestone. <laughs> I guess you hadn't got rid of that one yet. Okay, let me grab those ones. There we go. That's then done. Uh, and go around here like so. And that must mean that we are pretty much at the level that I wanted to come to. Uh, this is pretty much the height I wanted to reach. And then really what I want to do is decide what we're going to put on the top of this thing. Whether we're going to put a, a roof uh, or turrets or or what really. I don't know. I don't I don't know what I want to do on top of this thing. I really don't. Um, I guess uh, I guess we'll just uh, we'll have a little think about it. See if anybody else comes with any any ideas and stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll incorporate them in. There we go. We're more or less there. I think if I went up one more uh, one more pair of levels, so not one more level, but one more pair of levels. There we go. Look at that. That's starting to cut in just nicely. This is our one, two, three, uh, and then that's our one, two there. There we go. That is perfect. And what it really needs, Anfield Angel, did you, uh, did you manage to catch any of that cobblestone that you took away? Because I'd really like to put like, a ring of cobblestone around this for now. Um, even if it's just one layer, just, just to mark the top uh, and maybe put torches on it, that would be good. Um, but yeah, just so that when we go back down to ground level, we'll be able to sort of see uh, where we've reached. Um, and, and yeah, decide what we're actually going to do to finish off this design. Oh, that's not right. After all of that, I'll place a block wrong. Uh, right, where are you? Have you got anything there that you can throw to me? Uh, cobblestone. Cobblestone would be fine. I don't need anything special. Uh, I've got five. Five is clearly not enough. Um, I just need, uh, if you've got half a stack, that'll be plenty. Can you get them to me if you run out of blocks to be able to stack up here? There we go. There she is. Uh, yeah, in fact, you might as well just help me, Anfield Angel. Just go around the uh, the, the top edge uh, with a row of cobblestone, uh, like so. And I've run out. <laughs> just lay them on top of those bricks. See see what I mean, though? Can you see how it looks like it's sort of moulded out, out of the mountain now? So as the, as the mountain sort of sweeps away, this thing sort of emerges. I think that looks really good. Now, the big question is, how am I getting down from here? Uh, do you have a plan, Anfield Angel? I guess I could try and sort of scale my way down the inside of the mountain. Uh, that's not too bad, but I'm going to reach a point in a second. Uh, if I come over this way, ouch, ouch, there we go. Uh, that's not, is that too far to fall? I don't know if it is. How are you getting down? Oh, you're not there anymore. Where have you gone to? Oh no, you're still up there. Okay, you're coming on the dirt. Okay, if you could dig down just a little bit and then maybe I can join you. There we go, that's working. Ouch. Go on, dig, dig, dig. Go, out, am I in the way? <laughs> Ow, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll just jump. Ow! Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Right, let's go and have a look at this thing. We might have to have a little sleep so we can see how it looks in daytime rather than trying to squint through the darkness. Um, so let's go and have a quick sleep. Uh, say hi to our villagers, make sure he's doing all right. He should be safe in there. Nothing can get to him. Uh, the only thing is, is there a torch in there? Yeah, there is. There's a torch in there. So nothing should spawn in there with him. He's perfectly safe for the minute, our new villager friend. Uh, so that's all good. There's Anfield Angel's dog. And there is a slime ball. Hello, slime ball. Oh, go away. Uh, right, in we go into the house. Let's have a quick sleep. And in the morning, we will go and see how, how, how our tower has shaped up. But I think it's going to look good. I think it's going to look good. I think the floor is starting to look good. I think the walls are starting to look good. Um, and our village is, is starting to... Is, yeah, it's, 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 it's coming together nicely, including getting villagers again. So... There we go. Okay, like I said, that's a little bit bland for me. I think that looks a little bit, ugh, just because it's bricks all the way up. But if you imagine, if we was to sort of maybe, uh, we could use like a stair blocks maybe every now and then to try and break it up to to, to create a, a sort of a bit of depth to it. Uh, maybe pop in some windows uh, on the flat flat side. So up here we could have windows going up maybe. Uh, but I think height wise, I think that's just about right. Actually, let's go over here. Is there a way I can get up onto the top somewhere? Uh, I'm sure I placed a block somewhere. Never mind, let's just grab a bit of dirt. There we go, up we go. Let's just go down here for a second uh, and just have a look at the height. So if you imagine there's going to be a platform where we're walking here. Yeah, see, I think that's really cool. I think that's really cool because you'd have this, this will be sort of open with just fences that you'll be able to look out around. But then you'll go down to the end there, there'll be a doorway and you'll be able to go in and like I say, maybe a spiral staircase would be nice or something like that taking you up. And then we'll build towers in all four corners um, exactly the same as that. And I think that will look really, really good. 
So there you go. I think I think that is a, a good day's work. We've got ourselves a new villager, and our and our villager is uh, our village itself is starting to look good. Uh, I guess it needs a few more buildings, actually, Anfield Angel. If we're going to start repopulating this place with uh, with villagers, at the moment we have this place and the uh, the place that the, the village is trapped in at the moment. Apart from that, all we've got is our house. So um, that one's a mine shaft, and actually that's a good point. We need to make that door a bit more secure so that the villagers don't accidentally fall down our mine shaft. That could be a little bit tragic. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to do something to, to make sure that maybe just if we put a gate in rather than a door, that'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's coming together nicely. I think we just need a few more buildings, uh, and uh, yeah, maybe we could uh, can get some farms going. If we could get ourselves a farmer villager, uh, then maybe we could get some automatic automatic farms going. We could get him, you know, gathering up the, the potatoes and the, and the carrots and everything for us. Good stuff. I think this is going to work really well. I really like it. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please leave a like. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to thank you all for watching, and hopefully we'll see you all in a video very soon. Bye! <laughs>